Okay. All right, everybody, how you doing? It's Gus off and Anna with that Threaty Armory. Sorry we're out here. Uh, it's a little windy out. It's uh, it's uh, April. And, uh, yeah, it's a little chilly out here yet. So uh, Mother Nature is beautiful. My polar weather, you know, it was 80, 90 just a week ago, and now it's snowed, and now it's 40 degrees out. My wife is standing behind the camera. Or, or she's shaking. Anyway, this is uh, my Shark Coast Tactical Customs. Yeah, say that really fast. Uh, Lock 19 Gen 3. I've done a little bit of work on it. Uh, just shot literally my first five rounds. Just double checking it. Got a few more things to do with it. I'm going to put another trigger in it. Uh, it's got the, uh, you know, the real custom barrel on this. Uh, I really love the way they just, they, they've done this. I went and got an etched ordnance uh, back plate. It's made out of titanium. I think it's sexy the way it looks. I mean, just beautiful. So anyway, I'm going to stop yapping my jaws and I'm actually going to get some rounds off on it. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it shoots like a Glock. Just going to show you if we're safe. There's no magazine inserted. Still pointed down range. Got five rounds in here. Clear? Yep. Yeah, sorry. I'm just excited to shoot it. So a little chilly out here. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting a 11-pound uh, uh, stainless steel rod in here because that plastic one sucks. Yeah, the plastic sucks. Anyway, um, really enjoying this from the from uh, Shark Customs Tactical. I'm really sorry. It's a little chilly out here. Shark Customs Tactical. Oh, geez. Shark Coast Custom Tactical. There's too many tactical in names of gun companies. I mean, tactical this, tactical that. and Yeah, I know. We're an armory. Figure that one out. But anyway, I'm really impressed with this. I think it's a beautiful gun. It's definitely going to overtake my uh, my uh, shield as my daily carry. Um, again, I'm going to put a flat trigger on it. Just got that in. I uh, got a K&M tactical uh, <laughs> uh, kit. Uh, really happy with that uh, kit that came in. I just haven't had a chance to throw it in yet. I went and got the uh, self-defense three and a half pound uh, trigger kit for that with their flat uh, uh, flat trigger. Sorry, I'm a little kind of just trying to remember exactly what it is. But another another tactical place sold me some tactical items for my tactical gun. <laughs> anyway. Um, I really enjoyed the design on this. Uh, I was watching a video the other day at, at the uh, NRA conference. Uh, a couple went, uh, a couple fellows went up there at uh, Shark Coast Custom Tactical, and uh, they were looking at some of their different items. And I definitely agree with what he had to say: is that pictures and videos don't do these things justice. Uh, I mean, just the laser engraving, the the serif coating on here just looks amazing. Feels really good in the hand. But again, really impressed with it. Barrel's pretty awesome. The only thing I don't like about this is, you know, obviously the thread protector keeps getting uh, a little loose. Not a big fan of that. What do you do? Um, but it's amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. And uh, those, so those are the first 10 rounds. You saw only five. But it's cold out here. And I know we're in Minnesota, but it's, it's April. It's spring. I want bikini weather and, and uh, palm trees. Oh, that's right. I'll have to go somewhere else for that. But I definitely want warmer weather here. So anyway, thank you all very much for coming out. Thanks for checking this out. You all stay safe. Stay at the ready.